Welcome back to the channel and I've got another short, well actually this won't be a short video, it might be quite a long one because I've got a multitude of cards I picked up from an, another antique place that's locally. I'll throw a picture up right now of the building. It doesn't look much from the outside and the inside it is just uh, like a hurricane went through it. Lots of old things. I asked the guy if he had any sports cards and he said he had some in a box somewhere and he shuffled around for about 15 minutes until I finally dug it out and there was some baseball but they were all like 1991, 1992 upper deck so I didn't keep most of them but here's the good stuff believe it or not it's hockey and basketball and uh, a few other bits and pieces so without much further ado we're going to go through oh you got to stay to the end of the video because at the end of the video I'm going to open up this 1995-96 flare basketball sealed package not too sure what's in here but i'm really thrilled to open this one up so stay tuned for that let's go first with the the hockey and over here i've got just a bunch of early 1990 sets um it does have a rob blake super rookie it's not actually his rookie card it's his second year card it's from opichi uh very nice condition it had a keith primo rookie card opichi and you know, a few other ones. Who's this? This would be Scott Niedemeyer, rookie. Uh, a Th uh, Theron Fleer Fleary, rookie card. Or might be a rookie card. Just a few other odds and ends. Nothing too exciting. There were a couple Gretzky's, but like I said, they're early 1990s and not worth that much. In this second pile, I have two sets. I have 1981-82 and 1982-83 Opeechee cards. So the good ones are all in top in top loader. So we'll go through them here. We got a Rob Lowe, nice looking card. These are all Opeechi because they're all in French and English. So there's a Rob Lowe card. We got a Ron Francis, Brian Trottier, a Dale Howard check record breaker when he was a rookie. I think he set the the. The, goal, um, the record for most points. Of course, he passed away just last year, sadly. There's Daryl Sittler, Philadelphia Flyers. Here's a Mats Naslin rookie card from the Montreal Canadiens. Of course, he played defense in the first, uh, first year before he moved on to becoming a forward. A Marc Messier card. Very nice condition. Off center, left to right, but the corners and edges look really good and sharp. And this would be, I guess, his one, two, three, fourth, fourth year card, maybe his fifth year card. And we've got uh, Mike Bossy, Lady Bing Trophy winner, Randy Carlisle in action, and a Bob Ganey. So, and the rest of here are just mostly all commons but there's a Dennis Potvin of course he's a Hall of Famer and Bernie Federko but for the most part the rest are all common cards so I'm going to move those over to the side out of the way we've got some 1996 Pinnacle McDonald's cards we've got Felix Potvin we got Brett Lindros Eric Lindros's brother Pavel Burry Joe Sackick, Jeremy Roenick, and Owen Nolan. Uh, on top of that, we've got a few other cards and top loaders. This would be Timo Solani. It's, uh, I think it's a second year card, even though it says is he's an all-star rookie card, so it's a second year card. Not his first rookie, not his rookie year. And then Marion uh, Gaborik for the Minnesota Wild. So nice black borders, good condition cards. Then I've got four of these unopened packs. They're sort of like random mix packs. You've probably seen these. They're from the, uh, I think in the mid 2000s. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna strike gold in any of these. Let's go ahead. And see what I can get. John Madden. It's a prospect card of someone. P. 
Peter Klima, Patrick Flatley. Yeah, these are all common cards they look like. Nobody here. This is Yari Curry, the bent corner. And Peter's Sakura. So nothing going on in that first pack. Let's try the second. We got four all together. I don't think they're going to put in a uh, Wayne Gretzky rookie card in this. Kerry Lettinen, Hot Prospects. Peter Stasny. Rick Tockett, Ray Bork, well, that's nice. And we've got here a Adam Deadmarsh, Pinnacle. Eric Lindros, speaking about the Lindros brothers. It's a beehive card, it's not bad. And Tom Fergus. All right, so maybe a couple okay cards in that second pack. Let's go to the third. Hopefully these weren't too expensive to buy. I mean, anything more than a couple bucks is probably not worth it. Another Kerry Lettinen card. Another Basil McRae. Vincent Donfus. Rob Brown. Curtis Joseph in his Euler days. Not his rookie card, but still quite nice. And who is this? Rob Blake? No, Luke Robitaille. Another Hall of Famer. That's kind of cool. Ron Langway. Steve Thomas. All right, last pack. Let's see if we can pull a, uh, I don't know, Toronto Maple Leaf player. Would be nice. Hometown team. We've got uh, Mateus Olin of the Canucks. Dave Taylor. Never heard of that player. Steve Yeiserman, Magician. That's a nice card. McDonald's, we got Steve Yeiserman again. So, a couple okay cards. Nothing to write home about. Fun little rip though. All right, where to next? All right, this nice stack. Check this out. So the first thing we got here is a sticker that would have been in boxes of Cheerios from General Mills. It's from the skateboard gang and it's totally, totally cool is the character. I don't remember this growing up, uh, skateboard gang. I uh, believe it's from Canada. So you think that maybe I would have come across that or remember that, but I don't. We've got a 1995, 1995 card of Captain America. It's Marvel versus DC Comics. We've got another, uh, this is, what year is this? 1996, the Skybox Batman. This is really cool. It's uh, 1991 WWF Swanson. Don't remember Swanson, but it's still sealed up. It's got Jake the Snake Roberts on one side and on the other side, it's got the Ultimate Warrior. So it's a pretty sweet uh, little find there. We've got three Jerry Stackhouse cards from Fleer, 1996. We've got a, another Jerry Stackhouse. This is a 96-97 Hoops Hypnotize card. And actually, I think it goes together with this Grant Hill. This Grant Hill hoops it was a promo card. So it's been uh, broken along the perforated edge, which is kind of too bad, but I got two cards instead of one. We've got another Grant Hill card. This is his, uh, wait, 
that is his rookie card skybox emotion grant hill we've got a joe dumars 1995-96 fleer metal we've got these two cards from the inaugural season of the vancouver grizzlies and the toronto raptors 1995-96 and it's got grant hill i think it's grant hill on the back of both of them yep so this person who had these cards must have been a big grant hill collector we've got two of these jim jackson I'm not too sure what they are but they're not opened i guess they're punch out cards from um fleer 1995 so one and two We've got a 1994-95 Skybox Emotion Intense David Robinson card, which might be the best card of the whole lot, depending on what I find in here. So very nice shiny card, excellent condition. Nothing seems to be wrong with it. That's what it looks like on the back. So that's a kind of cool card. Never heard of Trent Dilfer before, but this is his 95 Fleer metal card. And last but not least, we've got 1992 Skybox Impact Hologram of Jim Kelly, as you can see. And that's the look in the back. Okay, so those are all the loose cards. Here is, hopefully I get something cool in here. So they do have, uh, it's 150 cards basic set in series one. It's got three highly collectible inserts. The hot numbers is the big one. I saw online that a PSA 9 Michael Jordan sold for over $800 and a PSA 10 Shaquille O'Neal sold for over $500. And there's center spotlight, perimeter power, and new expanded spectrum color ESC, whatever that stands for. So 95, 96 flare, nothing on the back, sealed up. So let's go ahead and carefully open this and see if there is a winning ticket in here. I'm gonna take it off camera for a second and just cut again. Carefully open it. There we go. So, take a little zoom out a little bit. So, there is the cover card. Not really a card. We've got Cedric Cabellos. Cabellos. Don't remember him. We've got Kenny. It's really hard to read the names here. Kenny Anderson. Jason, is this Jason Kidd? Jason Kidd. Very nice. Card number 27. Jason Kidd. Looks to be a second year card. Dallas Mavericks. Very nice. We got Detlef. I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna butcher his name. For the Seattle, Seattle team. Seattle Sonics. We've got Matumbo. I think he's a good player or was a good player. Matumbo. We've got Glenn Robinson, not David Robinson, but Glenn Robinson. We've got D Brown. And then who was this going to be? Christian Latner, Leitner. So it doesn't seem to be any insert cards in here. It seems to be all just your basic cards, which is kind of a bummer. But still, got myself a uh, oh, some nice cards here to sell. So Jason Kidd, probably the best card of the bunch. So. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. By the way, you're not going to believe what I paid for this. I almost don't want to tell you. 
I paid 20 Canadian dollars, which works out to about 15 bucks. So keep going out there, keep searching antique malls, flea markets, yard sales. You never know what you're going to find. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, happy collecting.